time with Holly. Today's video is going to be all about farm animals. We're going to start by singing a hello song and you can help me make all the noises that animals make on the farm to say hello. We're going to start with this animal. He's got a little curly tail. When pigs wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When pigs wake up in the morning, they always say hello. What do they say? What sound does a pig make? Oink, 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 oink. And that is what they say. Our next animal is when sheep wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When sheep wake up in the morning, they always say hello. What do they say? Ba, ba, ba. And that is what they say. What animal do you think is next? When horse wakes up in the morning, he always says hello. When horse wakes up in the morning, he always says hello. What does he say? Nay, nay, nay. And that is what he says. Last one. When duck wakes up in the morning, she always says hello. When duck wakes up in the morning, she always says hello. What does she say? Quack, 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 quack. And that is what she says. When we wake up in the morning, we always say hello. When we wake up in the morning, we always say hello. What do we say? Good morning, good morning. And that is what we say. Good morning. Now I'm going to tell you two oral stories. And you can help with this story called the teeny tiny mouse by clapping just like me in the story. We're going to do it twice so you can get the hang of it. Ready? Behind the tree and under the house there lived a teeny tiny mouse. She loved to dance. She loved to tap. But most of all, she loved to clap. She clapped all night. She clapped all day. She clapped to frighten the cat away. Meow! Okay, we're gonna try that one more time. Behind the tree and under the house, lived a teeny tiny mouse. She loved to dance, she loved to tap, but most of all, she loved to clap. She clapped all night, she clapped all day, she clapped to frighten the cat away. Meow! Good job! For our next oral story time, we're going to do a version of the three little pigs and all you need is your hands. Can you make the number three for me? Three. Perfect. Three little piggies sitting in a house. When along came Mr. Wolf as quiet as a mouse. He said, little piggies, little piggies, let me come in. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chin. Well, he huffed and he blew and away one little piggy flew. How many piggies do we have left? That's right, two. Two little piggies sitting in a house when along came Mr. Wolf as quiet as a mouse. He said, little piggies, little piggies, let me come in. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chin. Well, he huffed and he blew and away one little piggy flew. How many piggies do we have left? 
One little piggy, one little piggy sitting in his house when along came Mr. Wolf as quiet as a mouse. He said, little piggy, little piggy, let me come in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Well, he huffed and he blew, woo, and away that one piggy flew. How many piggies do we have left? None. No little piggies sitting in a house when along came Mr. Wolf as quiet as a mouse. And he said, little piggies, little piggies, let me come in. But there was nobody there to answer him. So Mr. Wolf turned around and walked away, but said, I'll be back again another day. And those three little piggies into bed did creep, and soon they fell fast asleep. Today's book is a special one. As you can see, this book is well-loved, a little old, a little dirty, um, and that's because it's been passed down to many children in my family. Um, and it's a book that my mom used to read to me all the time when I was little, and it's one of my absolute favorites. And it's called Piggy Wiglet and the Great Adventure. And as you can see, it's all about, ah, uh, what animal's that? A pig. Piggy Wiglet and the Great Adventure by David L. Harrison and illustrated by Les Gray. It felt so good to be a pig that Piggy Wiglet danced a jig. He kicked his heels and flipped his tail and squirmed beneath the bottom rail then trotted off to have some fun, to play all day and chase the sun. Shame on you, the cows all mooed. Running off is very rude. Simply shocking, honked the goose. You're much too young to be out loose. Go back, go back, the duckling quacked. Or you'll be sorry, that's a fact. You know that you'll be caught, of course, neighed a crotchety old horse. Lots of luck, the donkey brayed. Go on, have fun, don't be afraid. Off goes Piggy Wiglet to chase the sun. Stop that pig, the farmer cried. And everybody tried and tried, but Piggy Wiglet wiggled free as happy as a pig could be. Can you wiggle like Piggy Wiglet? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. The sun was big and yellow red and shining down the road ahead. So down the road that Piggy tripped and tossed his head and hopped and skipped. Right into town and down the street he chased that sun on prancing feet. He's right in the middle of traffic, silly pig. A pig in town, meow the cat, a dancing pig, imagine that. I don't believe it, woof the hound, whoever saw a pig in town. It's pretty silly, I agree. A gray squirrel chattered from a tree. Where'd he come from? Chirp, chirp, the bird. And where's he going? Have you heard? Catch that pig, a lady cried. And everybody tried and tried. But Piggy Wiglet ran so fast, he got away from them at last. The sun was shining on the zoo. So Piggy Wiglet went there too. The lion with a hungry grin said, little Piggy, please come in. Do you think he should go see Mr. Lion? Mm, I don't know. 
He's mine, exclaimed the alligator. He's joining me for dinner later. You be careful, warned the stork. A lot of folks in here love pork. My word, remarked the kangaroo. What's he doing in the zoo? Catch that pig, the keeper cried. And everybody tried and tried. But Piggy Wiglet squealed with glee and kicked his heels and wiggled free. They wiggle like Piggy Wiglet. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Piggy said, I'm tired of prancing. My feet are sore from all this dancing. I've played all day and it's been fun, but I still want to catch that sun. So Piggy chased it out of town to find out where the sun goes down. He chased it past the city zoo, the animals, the keeper too. Past the tree where Gray Squirrel sat, past the bird, the dog, the cat, the cows, the horse, the goose, the duck, the donkey who had wished him luck. Then Piggy got a big surprise. He stopped and stared and blinked his eyes and said, I don't know how or when, but now that sun is in my pen. Then that tired little pig found a squishy place to dig and watched the sun slip out of sight right outside his house that night. I bet that I'm the only one, he said, who ever caught the sun. And that's a secret hard to keep. Then Piggy Wiglet fell asleep. Shh. The end. When I visit a local farm, I love to go pick peas. And I'm also growing some peas in my garden. So I'm going to teach you a quick finger play all about peas. Can you show me five fingers? Can you wiggle your five fingers? Five fat peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, and so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they wouldn't stop. They grew and they grew until they went pop. Five fat Peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they wouldn't stop. They grew and they grew until they went up. I hope you enjoyed the story Piggy Wiglet and the Great Adventure just as much as I did when my mother used to read it to me as a child. Your family challenge this week is to learn one of the songs in this story time. Either the teeny tiny mouse with the clapping, or you practice the version of the three little pigs where you just need your fingers. I also challenge you to do some research on one of the farmyard animals that you love. Maybe you learn a little bit more about pigs this week, or more about chickens or cows, whatever you like to learn about as a family. This story time was brought to you by Luso Community Services and made possible by United Way, Elgin, Middlesex, and the City of London. Until next time, so long.